Next tonight, the Catholic Church at a crossroads here in Western New York as it marks its 175th anniversary. The diocese navigating its way now out of scandal and bankruptcy as the younger generation of priests try to pave a road to renewal. Tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at these efforts to rebuild with fewer priests and parishioners than ever before. The Catholic Church remains the largest religious institution in the country, but over the last four decades, the number of registered Catholics in our region has dropped by nearly 300,000. Still, Western New York is home to dozens of parishes, schools, and universities. There are 132 active priests in the Buffalo Diocese. Compare that, though, to 174 10 years ago. The church says it does expect that that number to drop even more by 2030. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley spoke with the priest heading up this renewal effort. We know the church has to change. It can't stay the way that it's operating now for a number of reasons. The Buffalo Catholic Diocese Road to Renewal is an effort to take 161 parishes and turn them into 36 families of parishes with a shrinking Catholic population and fewer priests. There are currently 132 active priests, but by 2030 there will be only 99 and only 66 will be under the age of 70. The road to renewal is not just about dealing with reduced clergy numbers, but it's about really how do we revitalize, reinvigorate, make sure that you know the responsibilities are shared. Father Brian Zelineski tells me he feels the pressure, especially with the clergy sex abuse cases, still front of mind for many. I think there's um, a lot of weight that we feel on our shoulders uh, because, you know, we're the next generation of priests that are coming up and uh, there's a lot of responsibility that's being handed on to us. Father Brian recently served as transitional leader for six churches in North Buffalo for a pilot program. The North Buffalo family still has some challenges before it. But there's a renewed spirit and attitude there that I think is palpable. Personally at St. Margaret's, for us, it was like a breath of fresh air. Rosemary O'Connell has been a parishioner at St. Margaret Church for 69 years. It just brought so much life and vitality back to the parish, and it just seems to be bringing a sense of hope for us. Here at St. Margaret Church, the masses were downsized. The 8 a.m. and the 9.30 a.m. were rolled into one Sunday mass at 9 a.m. O'Connell, who serves on the renewal committee for St. Margaret's, says parishioners recognize the need to work together. Their sense of parochialism seems to be gone. So to do that with six parishes is amazing, um, and everybody seems to be on board. One of the things I'd like to remind people of is that, you know, the church is not the priests, it's not the buildings, but it's the people. Two priests, Father David Richards and Father Chris Eminger, have been named to the North Buffalo family, and O'Connell tells me they are being well received. How joyful we feel when we walk out of church. It's not that old fire and brimstone anymore. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo. Interesting look. A lot of collaborating on all fronts. Thank you, Eileen.